Previously on Nora G's Nook, I showed you how I made these two beautiful wall decor using hot glue from the Dollar Tree. If you haven't watched this video yet, make sure to check it out right after this video. For today's video, showreel. hello 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 welcome back again to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Nara G and for today's DIY we're going straight into it so for DIY number one I got these two Pegasus from the Dollar Tree these are horses the winged horses I think from Greek mythology they're called Pegasus so I'll be using this as well as the glass and the candle holder so every item in this DIY um, are all from the Dollar Tree as well as the rest of the DIYs in this video. First things first, if you're new to this channel, I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join our family. And for my retaining subscribers, thank you all so much for sticking with me. Now for DIY number one, I will be gluing this glass with the candle holder uh, using my Gorilla Glue. You could also use E6000 glue. But first, Today's video is sponsored by Dozier, a startup that sells affordable scents inspired by luxury fragrances like Tom Ford, Creed Aventus, Yves Saint Laurent, and so on. All right, they make sure you smell good for less. So make sure to check out your website. Link can be found in the description box below. The luxury fragrance dupes you can get at Walmart for under $50. All right, so let's get back to our video for today. Moving on, I will complete this by using some hot glue as well because I needed to paint these right away. So I needed something that will hold the glass together instantly while the Gorilla Glue will go on to cure within the next 12 to 24 hours. I was looking to get some kind of a unique shape for a candle holder. So that is why I decided to glue these two together. So I will go on to use this chalk home decor black paint to paint this. So it will be black and then I will use my gold Rustolium metallic spray paint to spray paint the, uh, the Pegasus or horses. And there we go, all spray painted and dry. I will set this aside and go ahead to paint our candle holder. So this I'm using the paint, the chalk paint I showed you earlier on. You could also spray paint this with black spray paint. Okay, so I am using this um, just because this is what I have at hand at the moment. And also because I'm trying to reduce um, how much spray paint I use. Also, keep in mind that I'm using black here just as a personal preference. You could do this in white or whatever color you want or just keep it as is. Alright, so this is all personal preference and so do you. Just watch as I complete this. Alright, so here you can see our candle holder is all um, done and dry. I will go ahead now to glue our horses to the candle holder because the idea is to give it some kind of a sculptural look. So it's supposed to be a candle holder, but also a sculpture. So using our Gorilla Glue, I will go ahead to glue this onto our candle holders. Just watch us complete this. All right, keep in mind that E6000 glue or Gorilla Glue takes about 12 to 24 hours to properly cure. So once I glued this together, I set it aside where it cannot be disturbed until it was properly cured. And this is our final look. I absolutely love how this turned out and I would love to know your thoughts about this particular DIY. So please do let me know in the comment section below. 
all right i love the fact that this can actually play as a sculpture and also as a candle holder so it is perfect for any space all right so do let me know your thoughts So next up will be DIY number two, which is my absolute favorite for the DIYs today. So let's move on to DIY number two. Well, for DIY number two, I'll be using this wooden slab, which I also got from the Dollar Tree, which says life is better with friends. And that is so true. Anyways, and also I'll be using these candle holders, which also kind of look like uh, salt and pepper shaker cups. And as well as these um, Buddha, statues that i also got from the dollar tree if you've been on this channel i'm pretty sure you'll be familiar with this because i've used this before in the previous diy in a different way all right so i'll have the link up here on the top right so make sure to check that out right after this video so for this diy i will be spray painting this gold and then i will paint this white using my chalk paint and this will be painted black so we're keeping the colors black white and gold for all of the DIYs for today. So I will go on to paint this just for just a complete this. Once again, painting this with the chalk paint is all personal preference. I love the strokes that it gives and uh, you can also use spray paint just like I use spray paint for the Buddha. All right, so everything is all painted and dry and ready to put together. So next step, I'll be using my Gorilla Glue to glue down our Buddha as well as my hot glue because I want this to glue down instantly while the Gorilla Glue cures. Again, I'm using both glue because the hot glue is going to have that adhere onto the slab instantly while the Gorilla Glue who hold it forever but it takes about 12 hours for that to actually cure properly well as you all know if you've watched right up to this point you already know what's coming up so please do comment black gold and white in the comment section and show your girls some love okay i'd love to see it <laughs> All right, so our final stop here will be to put um, our candle holders onto the slab as well. So I'll go ahead to glue this and I will show you the final look for this. It is very easy to make yet very elegant and also looks very high end. I totally loved how this turned out and I can't wait to show you how I exhibit this in my living room. And here is our final look. And a gentle reminder to speak no evil, see no evil, and hear no evil. In case you didn't know, that is what these Buddha statues are actually exhibiting, okay? That is why I love them so much, all right? <laughs> Again, do let me know what you think about this particular DIY, uh, DIY number two, and also which of the DIYs was your favorite. Please do comment below. So now I have them next to each other. You can see how they all tie in together very seamlessly. There is something about black, white and gold that you can absolutely do no wrong with. You can never go wrong with black, white and gold. These are timeless colors and you can add silver to that mix in case you're not a gold person. Believe you me, uh, as, as much as I use gold a lot on my channel, I'm more of a silver person. Yes, shocker. <laughs> I know a lot of you will find that hard to believe, but yeah, I do love gold. Don't get me wrong, but um, it seems like a lot of people out there seem to like this more. And most of these DIYs, as you all know, I end up giving them out or selling them. So I don't do them for me. So I don't have to always use the color that I personally would use. Okay, well. You do let me know which color, accent color rather, do you like the most? Gold, silver, or rose gold? Please do let me know in the comments section. All right, so let's move on to DIY number three. Well, here we are, DIY number three. We will be using these beautiful glasses that I also grabbed from the Dollar Tree. 
um, all of them a dollar fifty. If you're in the states, this will be a dollar each or dollar twenty five, I think. So I will be gluing these two together using my E6000 glue or Gorilla glue, and I will leave them to set properly overnight. Just watch as I do this. I could also use hot glue at the center of this to have it glue down pretty quickly but I was in no rush with this particular one so because I was working on another DIY so I thought why not glue this together and just set aside so that it dries properly and also give it that neat look. So once this was all dry and properly cured. I will go ahead to paint them all right so this is the next day and I will be using black white and some gold paint however with the gold paint I didn't just want it to be just like a smooth shine over it I wanted it to have some texture like to give it a metallic kind of um look as though the, it wasn't glass to look more like a metal kind of candle holder so to do that i will be using paint mixing it with some baking powder and correction here i use baking powder because i did not have baking soda the recommendation is to use baking soda not baking powder all right either way the boat will produce the same result it's just baking soda will give an even better effect There are many ways you could give a glass texture but today i will be using just the baking soda and my paint make sure it is a water-based paint um, in order to do this i did three different coats over this just so um, the texture is really amplified but that is up to you so as you paint this you want to gauge and see if you're satisfied with how it looks if you're not you can go ahead and add some more just be careful not to do too much because you're using baking soda if it's too thick it could actually kick up and start to crack and we do not want that okay so I'm using my brush strokes to actually create the pattern that I wanted and this is it after it was all dry and ready for me to paint over so i went ahead to use this metallic paint gold paint that i got from home depot um, it kind of gives you this vintage gold kind of look like a treasure gold kind of um look i kind of liked it but in trying to keep everything together as um the rest of the diys i decided to also use my spray paint over it nonetheless i love the texture that our baking soda actually gave which was what i was going for because now it looks like it's some kind of metal and not glass what do you think for the other two i would just go ahead to spray paint them black and gold uh, sorry and white sorry so i'll go ahead and spray paint the other two just so we keep to our theme for today and this is what they both look like after that and this is our gold look finally i love it i just love how this looks like some kind of metal so this is our candle holders the easiest diy ever that looks glam and high-end i love them what do you think i would love to know your thoughts about this diy interesting thing about this candle diy this particular one diy number three is that you can actually use them as centerpieces for an event be it wedding shower you name it it is a very simple way to make a, an elegant looking centerpiece what do you think once again please do let me know in the comment section which of these three DIYs was your absolute favorite? I would love to know. I really do hope you did enjoy these new Dollar Tree DIYs, high-end home decor ideas for 2023 and beyond. 
with spring around the corner you can definitely go on to try these genius dollar tree diys for spring and home decor project ideas because of course why not right so once again to let me know what your thoughts are and also what you would love to see me do in the future all right besides dollar tree diys i would love to know and so with that said that will bring us to the end of our video for today if you did enjoy this video please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing in the meantime always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you thank you for watching and have a great day